Well, I just got done filming my pew video. Now once I get everything packed up, we're gonna start off with my, my turkey vest video. So I'm gonna find a cool angle for you guys to set at. That might not be too bad actually. Like that. Make sure that doesn't move like it is. Is that moving? Opening. There, how's that? Oh yeah. Yep. You guys can sit just like that. So, this vest that I'm wearing right now, which you guys saw in my last video that I just filmed it like maybe a minute ago. This vest is the Alps Grand Slam Turkey Vest. I'm pretty sure it's what it's called. Something like that. I have the little pamphlet, but I left that at home, obviously. Get my rangefinder off. But, so, on the front right here, they've got a little, like, spot. I don't even know what this is for. It's probably for another one of these turkey call boxes. In case you want one on each side, you can buy it or something. But I decided to throw my crow call in there, and I just tied all the access of my string off to this little hook, plastic hook that's above it. So that's on my right shoulder. And then on this left shoulder, they send you this fancy Nancy turkey call box, which I have empty for one reason. It's plastic and the way it clips, I mean, you can hear it, but if, if you walked by a limb right there and that opened, all of your turkey calls would be gone. So I, that's one knock I have on this turkey vest. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, I have like, 400 mouth calls so if I lost two it wouldn't be that big of a deal only only if these weren't my best two turkey calls that I plan on using 24 7 getting attacked by a bird so that's the shoulders shoulders are done there's one chest strap right here and then down here you've got two belly straps which makes your whole vest just stick right to you like you can cinch these down however you want however tight you want i don't really like my vests that tight because a lot of the times when i'm sitting there i'll hear a bird and then i'll crawl up a little closer to the next tree so i'll end up just taking this thing right off and leaving it in the woods maybe overnight maybe get it after i shoot one depends on how i'm feeling so moving on we'll go to the left side you got one of these striker pockets which is holstering my owl hoop. I mean, there's three striker pocket, or there's three striker things. You guys can't see anything. There we go. There, now you can see just about everything. So you see, you got these three little cinch straps right here. And then you got this little mesh part right here. It's got the, the stretchy on it. This is probably where you put your extra box or your extra mouth calls in the little plastic box. But I decided to just throw my owl hooter in there. And then you move on right next to it, which makes a lot of sense. They've got your little slate call holder. I only have one slate call, so that's what's in there. They give you two actually, but if you look in this one, that's where I'm storing all my mouth calls in these little plastic boxes that they send them in with every single call you get. Which, I mean, this thing, is never shy of storage. Like there's so many pockets on this and I love it. Like, don't get me wrong. That's not a knock on it. I love having infinite amount of pocket. So now we'll move over to the right side. You got another striker pocket with the Alps logo, Alps Outdoors. And then here, there's my one striker for my one slate call. I hardly ever use slate calls. So this is the only one. I bought this from a dude, he handmade them. It was like 40 bucks and it's the coolest slate call I've ever heard. I just never use it because I'm always using mouth calls. Quick disclaimer. And then this, I think this clear plastic would be for like your tags, I'm guessing. I just have a backup case because you guys know that these things break very easily. But that's it in that striker pocket. We move down to the box call pocket. It's got this cool little, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Cool little like hook here with this little elastic clip, or with this clip and this elastic, and that thing does not come off. Like, that is not moving at all. Once that's in there, that you can hear it click in. But you open that up. I got a cheap Walmart box call in there because I hardly ever use those. The only time I'll use box calls, well, there's two situations. 
if the birds aren't gobbling at my mouth calls, obviously. And then if it's a really windy day or rainy day, it's just, you know, bad weather and it's just, no birds want to talk. I'll get that to be really aggressive and really loud. And I'll see if that'll get them to call at all, answer me. Sorry, I just noticed that the four-wheeler here does not have a tire on it. But yeah, that's, that's the only time I'll use one of those. Now we'll move inside to the inside pockets. We'll start off with the right one. You got these little zippers, these zipper pockets, which are really nice for, like I'll put my gloves in here or my, my face mask. But I also, this year I'm gonna start carrying some bug spray because as you guys saw last year in my video before I got taken down, my first turkey hunt, I was covered, like absolutely covered in bug bites. Like my face, I'm allergic to them, so my whole face sw like swelled right up. I had like bug bites here, 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 like all over the place. And it was, oh, it sucked. Like two days after that, I could hardly feel my face, it hurt. Now we'll move over to the next one. Right here, another one of those zipper pockets. I'm keeping my face mask in here, a backup pair of gloves for in case I take like my cousin or someone hunting. And then I'm also gonna start throwing my rangefinder in there. So I always have a rangefinder because if you guys have been watching me for a while, I love hunting field birds. Like I just love trying to call them in because they're the hardest thing to call in. You know, they're always looking, they're always trying to find your decoy or the bird that you're impersonating. And it's so hard to get them into that 50, 60 yard mark. So I just love hunting field birds. Also field hunting, it's really hard to tell how far away they are. So make sure you have one of these cause bird looks like it's at 50 yards, you range it and it's at 150. You know, it's just, it's one of those things that you should just always have in your pocket because a lot of people don't think about that when they're turkey hunting. A lot of people are just like, oh yeah, I've got a shotgun, bird's gonna come into 30 yards which it could, I mean, you're a good caller, you got decoys, no knocks on that, but you just can never be too sure. So just always have one of those just in case you're just like, man, I don't know if that bird's at 50 or 70. Just always have one of those. <laughs> Two crows right here. I could blow them up. I don't know if you guys can see them. I don't know if you guys saw them. Oh, there's more. You can see them. I just blew my crow call once. After just shooting my shotgun, like, what, four times? And I just called in four crows that's funny but <laughs> back to the vest review that's about it for the front it's a pretty slick looking thing too that's about it for the front so we're gonna move to the back so on the back here you've got your little turkey tote pocket you know you throw your bird in here if you if you're successful and you're harvesting and then I also for younger hunters or for new hunters I always carry a cheap little monopod just so they have something so we don't always have to look for a stick this thing was like $11 on Amazon and I don't know how many times I've like given it to my cousin when she's went with me or a new hunter like a buddy of mine that just got into the turkey hunting business I don't know how many times I've used this in the past two years for $10 I also like if I'm sitting there and a bird's not gobbling I'll take this out just to set my gun on it so I'm not constantly holding it and I don't have to put it on my foot so if the bird comes in silent it's already up $10 I don't know what it is anymore. That was like two years ago. Like I said, your turkey tote pocket and then your little kickstand. This thing is gonna be a game changer, I think. If I know how to use it and if I use it properly, these legs kick right out. You don't have to have like a tree behind you. But I think that's about it on the rundown. I mean, it's really padded. These are really comfy, really puffy. But yeah, I've, I've worn this once turkey hunting and that was for youth. We took, Hunter and I took his brother out and we were unsuccessful because Hunter and I suck at calling. We suck at what we do. I'm filming this on Friday, the 28th of April, I think. Turkey season up here opens May 1st, so it's on a Monday. It's this coming Monday. I'm pumped, but I'm not at the same time because starting tomorrow, it's supposed to downpour Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and 
Tuesday morning, I'm pretty sure. So that's going to really put a knock on turkey hunting for a while. I mean, I'll go out, but if it's downpouring and tsunamis, probably not because I was planning on taking my bow out the first couple days and seeing if I could maybe shoot a bird with my bow. I've always wanted to do it. I've never done it. I think it'd be fun. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Leave a like if you like this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know like the type of videos you guys want to see. Crow hunting. I don't know if it's still open anymore. I don't think it is, but woodchuck hunting. That's coming up. We could do that. Um, turkey hunts, obviously. I mean, I'm gonna film those. I'll post those. But let me know if you guys want to know, like, what what type of gear I use, what type of camo I use. I mean, I'll do, I'll film just about anything for you guys. But yeah, with that being said, that's about it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, share it with others. Subscribe if you're new. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Make sure you just hit that subscribe button. You stay a long time because this channel is going to be goaded for the coolest filming ever. Go check out my TikTok. Uh, I think it's Edub Outdoor. But yeah, that'll about do it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you when turkey season starts up in three days. So let's, let's speed the process up.